Hello everyone, welcome back to E-Dogs Reviews. First and foremost, I want to wish everyone who is watching this video at this given time a happy 2022 New Year. It doesn't matter if you're in the States, it doesn't matter if you're in Europe. I just want to say to everyone who has subscribed, Happy New Year. So first and foremost, we're going to do a review on the Transformers Masterpiece MP53 Skids. Now, before we really get into it, the first thing you're going to notice is that the box is very dark than all the other boxes that have come out in the past, which I'm going to get into in detail in a second. So this is the front of the box. There is your vehicle mode, which is a Honda City Turbo. We'll get into details later on. You have in this robot mode over here. It says MP53 Cybertronium Warrior. Uh, it's made by, it got the uh, Long Life Design Award. I hope that's much better than what we got with Hound. We'll see. Uh, made by Takara Tomi. On that side. On that side, we have Skids looking off to his right hand side with his gun on his arm. As a matter of fact, he had both guns on his arm. We have the uh, the silver one and you had the, the other one over there. We have the back of the box where we have the car mode. We have the Honda City Turbo. We have all these different things, which we'll get into in a second. We have the comparisons between the original uh, smoke screen, not smoke screen. Uh, street, Blue Street, and Skids and uh, Tracks, and you can ha you can have all these different poses here, and you have all of these guys down here in accessories and stuff. On the bottom, we have the Honda logo down here. It's not a hologram one; it's just a regular one. There, just a note, and that's about it. Now, to show you the difference between the boxes. Right, so here is the 35th anniversary version of Streaks, right? And you can clearly see that this box is a little lighter than that box. And that could be, you know, you can chuck that up to the light and all that other good stuff. But you can definitely tell that this box is lighter than that box. Another box is um, Sideswipe, right? Now, if you have them like this, this is how they first started out uh, out with their, their packaging. And you can clearly see there's a difference between this box and that box and the coloring of this box. Not exactly sure why that's happening. Uh, I just wanted to throw that out there because there is a slight difference uh, in the boxes. And I'm not totally 100% sure if it's a knockoff or a real thing. I did buy it off of a official website so we're just going to go with that for now so we're going to open this up yeah have your booklet First thing you come to is uh, the Transformers Masterpiece MP53 Cybertron Warrior uh, Skids. That's the back of the box. I'm not sure why they changed him from Cybertron Warrior from uh, Theoretician. Uh, maybe because he was always there, you just never saw him in the show. That's probably why. I'm not sure. But that's the card. And then you have the instructions, which takes about maybe 43 steps to transform it. Um, there's some easy parts and then there's like maybe one or two tricky parts, but you can tell what's going on in the instruction booklet. Uh, the thigh section might be a little bit more difficult to like actually show off on camera. I don't think you would be able to see it. I'm open this up. I'm gonna get the weapons out. So first up is 
this uh, weapon here. I'm just going to brighten this up a little bit. And this is uh, the liquid nitrogen rifle. It's a navy blue, and we have black for the cannon. And you can plug this on top of the forearm or on the side of the forearm. Doesn't matter which arm you want. You can swap them up if you will. And then we have uh, this right here, which is uh, the twin electron blaster, which is in chrome. Very nice. It's not, you know, spectacular as a, a as a gun, like a normal gun, but it's all right. It's fine. It's fine. And then we have the card. So I'm going to get close up on that. I'm going to brighten up the... So here you go. This is the Honda City Turbo. Which is a some compact car. It's a four wheel drive. It's a three door, five seater hatchback van. That's the description of it. They also have a four seater, two door convertible if you want something different other than this, which is also a four wheel drive. In Europe, there this vehicle is known as the Honda Jazz, and the only thing that's different is like this back panel is a little designed differently. That's the only difference. Here it is from the back. You got to see uh, as the uh, license plate. You got it in the front. Yep, you also got it in the front. You got the yellow light, uh, yellow lights for the headlights. You have the badge on the the, uh, the face right here you have turbo which you can't really see but it says turbo there you have the autobot symbol here you got the honda name there on the left and it's uh, i can't really make it out it's very small but it says turbo something turbo can't really make it out what that is and that's what it looks like from underneath and that's what it looks on the top now this vehicle can go from zero to 60 in 7.9 seconds, zero to 100 in 8.4 seconds. The top speed is about 109, which clocks in at, uh, at 8.6 seconds. It can do 43.7 miles per gallon, and it can hold about somewhere between 10.5 to 10.9 gallons of gas. Transmission, just real quick, you can have a four to five speed manual, a four plus three speed hyper shift manual, or a two speed plus overdrive Honda Matic. That is actually sure what Honda Matic is. But you have options of uh, your different various cars this is the first toy that actually has the rear view mirrors actually attached to it all the other ones you have to like plug them in or you glue them in or some type of thing like that and these are the first ones that are actually installed on there because they also transform as well and you can kind of think of this as a mini uh binotech Transformer. That's exactly what it is. It's a mini version of a Binotech. So we're going to show it off real quick. Uh, to open up the doors, you just have to slide this back a little bit to unplug it. And you can move the doors like that. This, and this, is, what you, this is what you see. Let me just brighten that up. That's what you're going to see inside. On that side. On the other side, you do the same thing. You just bring this back, bring this up, and that is your driver's side or your passenger side, depending on where you live. And then the back, you're going to need a, like a, something to get this. But I use, like a, you need, you're going to need like a spudger or something to actually grab onto this. 
and you bring this out. Oh, we don't want to mess that up. Just, just that. So you have that, and you can put your your weapons inside of there. There's actually a port for uh, for this weapon here, and you put this in the back, and you lay down this one down here somewhere. You lay this one down, something like that. That's if you want to do that. Also, the engine bay can open. Just like a Binotech figure, you just gotta push forward to disengage it. And inside you have the engine bay, which is a 1.2 liter inline four turbo. Now this car came out somewhere between September 1982. I believe 82 through 84 something like that around 83 84 they swapped out this one for a much better version which had like an in intercooler and a much better uh, turbo engine kind of a deal And just like the Binotech, the the, the Binotech Transformers, then normally the engine will pop out and you flip that into a a weapon of some sort. Uh, this is just the opposite. You, you pop the boot open and you, you can grab all your weapons out of there. Okay. Now we're going to transform this. Real quick, but we're gonna do some comparisons. So my first comparison will be Ironheart, which is his van. And then we got one of the uh, fair ladies. Give you kind of a comparison there. Kind of do it this way. This way you can see what's going on. Here it is from the back. Here it is from the other side. One more time, and that is about it. transform it we got to start from back and what we want to do is we want to pull back like this and you can get the doors out of the way first now the doors do slide out a little bit to kind of get out of the way of the, uh, the transformation which is good going out to the side Pop the door open, like that. Get back here again. And you, this time you wanna pull back just a little bit, not too hard, just enough to actually move this piece out, like that. So you should have this going on. Next, you want to raise this piece, like that. So you got visible edge syndrome right there. Couldn't see it on the other side, but it is what it is. And uh, we're gonna go and split this in half, right? In the instructions, they tell you to, you know, they tell you to, uh, let me put this together. They tell you to move this up first, like this, and you bring it, and then you split it like that. That's what they tell you to do. First thing we're gonna do is is undo the legs. So we're gonna bring the uh, lower, the back portion of the the vehicle back like this, right? And we're gonna bring it down on the knee. And what's gonna happen is that there's these two clips. This is like a clip system here. Uh, so there's like a um a tab here, and then there's a slot there, and these gonna to go together. Like that, like so. And then you can bring this all the way back, like that. 
Same thing on the other side. You want to bring this back. You want to bring it down. And you want to do the same thing. You want to take this, uh, this tab here and you want to plug it into the upper thigh. Like that. Bring this leg back like so. The feet is very easy. So all you have to do is actually wiggle the feet out of here. So, you want to take this red piece, you want to flip it onto this side. It's going to plug into this, this piece right here. Right. So, you got to really pull it down and then you flip it over like this. And it's going to plug in, in here, in this section right here. Now that we got a leg almost done, you want to take the wheel and you want to flip it onto the other side. Right? Now, if you, like me, I just forgot about this piece right here. This is his heel spur. Just bring this back. And then you take this wheel and you flip it back like that. And plug this back in if you want to or you can have it loose so you can have a, a full range of movement on the foot let's see if i can do that a little bit better on this side all right so we're going to take the feet which is this red thing right here and we need to grab this and this together to kind of like wiggle it out of the out of this uh this socket you flip over the feet I need to get my hands on it. And it's going to, this is going to tab into that slot right there. Right? Go over here, take the heel spur, bring this back. Take the wheel right here, and it's going to flip over. Just like that. And if you haven't done it, we want to put these the knees together like that. Now, these panels right here, since we're done with the feet, we will bring these down. And they're going to uh, hide the back portion of the whole rear section. Right? And you do that by, you got to lift up this plastic a little bit because it's getting in the way. So you just lift it up. So, you just got to lift it up a little bit because the plastic doesn't really want to go over it. So, it should look like this. Let me see if I could do it better on that side. Alright, so we want to bring it up like this. You want to bring this down. You want to move this plastic over just a little bit and it falls into place. And that is it. For the legs, now we're going to move this up because it's on a slider. So we bring this up like that. Okay. You want to get the wheels out. So all you have to do is go in here, give them a little wiggle. Some people have done it this way. They, they unfurl the hands. And this is one of the tricky parts. Is Right. Right. So we got one out. So we need to we need to hold that in a, in a certain position, like this. You want to keep it just like that. 
keep it just like that. And do the same thing on the side. Like that. Okay, so it should look just like this. Now, what you could do is you can open up the hood one more time, and all you have to do is you want to you can use this piece right here as leverage to kind of get it open. But sometimes at this point you can actually do this and kind of just move that forward like that so we're gonna hold this for a second right here because we need to do something all right so and again in this corner maybe all right bring that up Bring this up. The reason why we're going back here is because we need to flip in the rear view mirrors. So we're going to do that now. Close this. This, I thought was kind of cool, this next piece right here. So you take these pieces right here, and you bring it up, right? And as you see, there is an opening for the wheels, the wheel wheels. And you want to bring this up like that, and you want to bring it into that wheel well. And... Um, Like that, and it's going to create the his abdomen, and it's going to plug underneath the wheel wells to keep it locked into place. So there's like a little slot there. Right. Do the same thing on this side. You want to bring this up. Bring this panel right here. Right, right here and this is going to plug in together right and then you want to plug this piece right this piece right here is going to plug into let me see if I can find it there's a piece right here there's a little rectangle right there that plugs in there right So we're almost there, we're almost there. Now on the legs, there's a little trick. So you want to bring it out all the way like that. And you want to kind of shift the thighs because they shift from, they, they shift outwards like that. And they're supposed to click into place. And you do the same thing on the other side. Now you may not get it. It took me a while to get it, um, but you know you have it when you're going back into the vehicle mode because they slide together uh, to make it uh, much more closer. So you really have to look at the instructions because it says that it's supposed to tab in some nonsense like that. Something like that. I'm not, this is not clear, but it's in the instruction booklet. 
Right. So next, you want to ha tackle the uh, the backpack. Let's get this out of the way. So what you want to do, you want to bring this out because it's on a slider. You want to bring it in like this, so like this, and you want to fold down like that. Now, as you bring this down, you can then get your finger in here, and you pop up the head. Right, and you can turn that around like so. Now, be careful of doing that because if you start scraping that blue plastic, it's going to leave a white mark that you know you can't get rid of. Right? So, that does it for that piece. And what's cool about this is they they hit like a, a rectangular port there. And it plugs into this red thing there. So you got to just make sure all of this is folded up. Plug together. And you should have something like that. The arms, you just unfurl all the arms by uh, taking this panel. This is a panel here. I'm going to fold it open like that. Take the fist, you want to bring it up. Like that. And you want this to face like that. This needs to be facing you. This, these, uh, this red and black thing needs to be facing you. And what you do here, you find this little rectangular port inside a wheel and you plug it into this side piece. Right, so you bring the arm down, turn, turn until it's, you know, the arm is facing you correctly. And you got arm done. Do the same thing on this side. You want to unplug. It. Well, it doesn't really unplug anything. It just kind of lays there. Just un, un, unfold that. Take the hand. Right, bring it down. Bring down the arm. And you want to swing it around like this. Right? like that then you, you go back here you plug this into the tire there you go now the backpack is actually plugged in it doesn't go any lower than this that's where it sits at And you have your skids in robot mode. That picture looks way too dark. So let's get the weapons on them again. It doesn't matter where you put it. So I'm going to show you two different versions of it. So you can have it like this. Or you can have it on the top. And there's a rectangle, rectangular slot there and a slot there. So if you want it on top of the arm... We would do that as well to make it look like he's shooting it. Like that. And then we have his twin electron blaster. 
Just put it on top of his arm first. And uh, just plug it in. So you have something like that. You can go with that. Or you have it on the side. articulation real quick the arm will go about that far before it hits the back of the window or I should say the front of the window and then that far um, backwards you do have more than 90 degrees if that gun wasn't there you could probably do more in fact let me just show you that So you can get about that far, and that's for the transformation, but you can still do it if the gun is on the side of the arm, if you want to. You got full range of motion on the arm. Bicep. Elbow. The wrist do um, turn around 360 degrees. Uh, you have rotation at the waist, 360 degrees, legs come out there, very nice, you got your knee there, but if you wanted to, you can probably break, uh, or not well, not break, but you can separate the, the, the lower portion of the knee to kind of give it uh, more range if you wanted to do that. Out that far. You do have movement of the feet. You just gotta unplug it a little bit. And you can move the feet around. You're going backwards on the leg. Let's see, not that much, not that much. Um, in fact, I don't think the legs move backwards, do they? Yeah, the legs only move forward. They don't move backwards unless you use the uh, the knee joint to move backwards, kind of a thing. But this doesn't allow you to move backwards. Like this upper thigh doesn't allow you to move backwards any at all. It only moves forwards. About that far on the leg, and we're gonna hold his knee real quick. That's how far it goes to the back. Let's get a picture of the face. Now there's his face right there. Very nice. You can move left. You can move right. But as you do so, you can kind of see the head moves back when you want to when you, when you want to make it face a certain way and that is because it doesn't lock into anything down here it kind of just like floats there now the only thing i would say is you got to make sure these things are plugged in these side things are plugged into the uh, the wheel wells. Just make sure those are plugged in. Let's give it some comparisons. So we're going to bring in 
side swipe. And we're going to bring in Blue Street. Just kind of show you where he comes up at. Let's bring in the other two. Put Prowl over there. And we're going to put I hide on that side. So there you go. Now, again, when you're doing when you transform it, please pay attention to this leg transformation. It's supposed to click in. I can't get mine to click in, but it's supposed to. Uh, when you go into robot, let's say you're going into Carmo for a second. Uh, they they're supposed to slide together like that to get the the car more more uh, solid form, if you will. And then when you go into the robot mode, they're supposed to slide apart at the knees, like somewhere around here. They're supposed to slide apart, and they're supposed to click. Um, and then then there's these two there's these two pieces, very small pieces, and they're supposed to lock into uh, this upper portion, something like that. This doesn't flip up, I don't think. Yeah, but uh, do, 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 trying to see if I can find it, find a thing. Right, so it's supposed to go something like that, and it's supposed to slide up, up away. And then when you go into vehicle mode, it slides together. I hope that I hope that's kind of clear. But um, locking into place is not really clear on that. But yeah. This has been a video on the Transformers Masterpiece MP53 skids. I will give you some updates on whether or not I have any problems with this piece. Because you know Hound is still on my mind. Yeah. But we're going to try to get another Hound. I'm just not... Don't want to spend all that money on on that one but we'll see we got some new stuff coming in so hope you enjoy this video if you did give it a like subscribe if you have any questions put them in the box i do respond to them and uh i'm going to see you in the next video so thank you for watching and keep safe